Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kota Wakia statue review on the Artifacts Plus Aliens Movie 110 scale Alien Warrior statue. If you're trying to pick this up, it is available right now. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Yeah, I just missed Alien Day just by a couple days. Uh, oh well. Anyway, this is looking very cool. I saw this on display at New York Toy Fair. Very cool image of the statue over there. And on the back, you get a couple more pictures. And then there's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. And on the side, we get another image. And then on the top, it says Aliens. And then on the bottom, a bunch of warnings and stuff like that. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Xenomorph Warrior Alien drone out of the packaging. Looking absolutely spectacular. I love this pose right over here. I think that looks great. The paint apps and the sculpt on this are phenomenal as to be expected. Uh, we get a lot of parts here. Uh, as you can see in this image, you know, you have to put some stuff together. There's a little bit of snap fit action going on. Uh, we also get a very cool base that isn't just this panel right here. Uh, we get six panels and you can actually be creative with it and do whatever you want. Uh, the instructions are very thorough. Uh, it does come with its own set of instructions as far as putting everything together. We even get a little blue light over here. That's really cool. They recommend using a hair dryer uh, before snapping some of these pieces on the alien, which I think is a very good move. I am glad that they wrote that in the instructions because it was a little tricky for me at first, but as soon as I got a hair dryer in there, it just snapped into place very easy. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. Looking at the head, you can see that we get some nice glossy black paint on there. Really like that beige color. Nice sculpt. You get the little mouth right there, is it the little mandible thingy, and it even has a little silver teeth on it. Not just on the main mouth, but the one inside, you know? And then we get an articulated jaw right there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like an idiot, I tried pulling this out, but that's not going to happen because, you know, it's a statue, and yeah, so that, I felt dumb for trying to do that, but, you know, of course, you want that. But it is a statue, so I'm glad that they still made the jaw uh, posable right over here. We also get articulated shoulders. They can rotate forward and back, and then the neck can turn side to side some, and it moves up and down, and you can rotate it. So, you know, a little bit of articulation, and especially on these little pieces right over here, you can move those around some if you'd like. But, you know, looking at the rest of it, it just looks really good. I really love the sculpted detail all the way through. Very nice looking piece. Looking underneath right over here. That looks really nice. Yeah, man. Woo-wee. We also get a fully articulated tail on this guy, too, which is awesome. Very nice bendy tail. And it's sculpted and painted very well. And looking all the way at the end, you can see that the bendy wire stops. Eh, yeah, and it looks like it stops right around there. So yeah, that's the last point of where you can bend it. And the very tip right over here. Really love the glossy black paint. And moving on to the base over here, you can see that we get these six different panels, which all look really nice. Nice gunmetal color right over here. Very, very subtle wear. You know, you can see a tiny little bit of black paint on there. So, you know, it gives it a little bit of depth. I think these are cool. Here's the back side of it. They're all identical to each other. There's no difference between them. You get six of them. And you can make this little box thing going on. So the instructions show you how you can build this particular setup. And you also get these magnets right here that you can put underneath to hold the alien. This is, I guess, the recommended setup that we see in the directions. However, you can set this up any way you'd like. Uh, you get three different types of clips over here. You get these clips, and we've seen this similar like the Arkham Knight Batman stuff, you know. I did a review on those a little while ago. So, you get this flat piece right here, then you get the angled ones with the ports on the outside, then you get this other bag of ports that go on the inside. I'm not using any of the outside port ones at the moment, it's just all the flat pieces and then the inside port ones. And it holds together very nicely, I like this, this is very solid, you know. As you can see as I lift it up, you know, it still holds together and I only have two ports in the center right there holding that in, so you can see how that's all put together is uh, well I just took it apart but when you get it flat on the ground it's a nice looking piece so I think that's very cool uh, I'm gonna see now I have one of the magnets on the top right over there so I'm gonna show that and then I'm gonna see if I could put another magnet around right here and move this so that is very cool I really like that I just think this is just an awesome move that they made this possible I think that is so cool that is really neat. Then lastly, the, the nice little touch over here is that you can use this thing, you gotta take this tab out, and you get a light 
boom, and it shines blue light in there. I think that is awesome as hell. I love that. I have most of the lights shut off over here in the office, and you can see how this blue light looks. For some reason, through the viewfinder, I'm seeing this ring of purple going around it, but as I look directly at it, there's no ring of purple. It's just a solid blue, and I think that looks great. I love that they've added that touch. The directions show you how to change the batteries if you want to, um, and you can also get this clipped on. Uh, all you got to do is just take, it'll go into one of the ports. You could actually port this together, so you can go like this, Let's see here, you go like that, and then, I don't know, I'm just going to try to clip it to the side of one of these things. Let's see if I go like this. Now for me personally, I think this is the coolest spot for the light. I used one of these clips right here with the ports on the outside, so it just clips onto the bottom of the light right over there and it's hanging upside down. I like that placement because it shines some blue light on the statue and I think it looks very creepy. I think that looks sick. I'm really happy with that. That is really cool, man. Wow, just a brilliant idea. I just really like this. Now to measure out this statue, you can see it's only standing at about four and a half inches tall, mostly because of that pose, but the length of it is way longer. Let's see, we get the tail all stretched out over here, and it measures close to one foot across. That's very cool. Now for your Xenomorph comparison, here it is next to the NECA Toys Xenomorph Warrior. This is the new one that just came out, and they don't really fit into scale together. You know, this one looks like it's little kid or something like that. But, you know, if you wanted to angle it correctly, you could figure something out where you could put them together in one display, but, you know, they're not too too far off from each other, but definitely not in the same scale. But comparing it to the first NECA Xenomorph Warrior alien mold that we get over here, they are a little bit closer in scale. As you can see, those heads are a little bit closer in size, but this one's still bigger. Then here's one other display setup with the base over here, which is very cool. I absolutely love that Kotobukiya is tapping into the customer's creativity. I love creativity, so the more you can do with these figures, or the statues anyway, uh, the better, right? I just think this is really awesome. And I hope you guys thought my review was very awesome. Awesome. If you did, please click any of the boxes right over here for more shark in your face. We got the subscribe button in this corner right over there. And then in this corner over here, you can click yesterday's video. It was a P.O. Box pickups video slash giveaway video slash Geek Fuel unboxing. And then my last review was a Marvel Legends Giant Man build a figure from the Captain America Civil War wave. If you want to see that, click right over there. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, make sure you check the links below. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images from this review, you can see them at Toy News I Dot com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Nice glossy paint, yeah.